There's a very disturbing story right now coming out of ICE detention facilities. And Don Wooten is a courageous whistleblower who's really taken the mask off this important issue. Basically, we have multiple sources now confirming that multiple women have basically been given hysterectomies without their consent in these facilities. That basically, against their will, there's been a process of sterilization of these immigrant, these undocumented, these racialized women. And this is very, very sad in and of itself, but it also is rooted in a history across North America, Canada, the United States, and indeed in other places around the world, of how the rights of women to their reproductive autonomy have, has been taken from them, especially when they come from a marginalized position, be it economically, be it socially, raci racially, religiously, what have you. And this is another grotesque chapter in that history. You know, my, my words can't do justice to what the reports that I've read have shown. So I want to read you an excerpt of one of the articles. I'm going to post a link in the description. You can read the whole thing. But this really does capture, you know, the, the horror that this has been for a lot of these women and those that love them. It says here, multiple women came forward to tell Project South about what they perceived to be the inordinate rate at which women in ICDC were subjected to hysterectomies, a surgical operation in which all or part of the uterus is removed. Additionally, many of the immigrant women who underwent the procedure were reportedly quote unquote confused when asked to explain why they had the surgery with one detainee likening their treatment to prisoners in concentration camps. Recently, a detained immigrant told Project South that she talked to five different women detained at ICDC between October and December 2019 who had a hysterectomy done. When she talked to them about the surgery, the women reacted confused when explaining why they had one done. The women told Project South that it was though the women were trying to tell themselves it's going to be okay. When I met all these women who had surgeries, I thought this was like an experimental concentration camp. It was like they're experimenting with our bodies, the detainee said. According to Wooten, ICDC consistently used a particular gynecologist outside the facility who almost always opted to remove all or part of the uterus of his female detainee patients. Everyone he sees has a hysterectomy, just about everybody, Wooten said, adding that everybody's uterus cannot be that bad. And they go on to use a term, and it's very troubling that this person was known as the, the quote-unquote uterus collector. This, this, is, this is very troubling. This is extremely troubling stuff. It's deeply concerning that this would be happening. Look, most people in my circles are against the existence of these facilities that that these people are being treated inhumanely simply by the fact that they are in these ice facilities but even if you're one of those people that happens to think these are necessary either they're a necessary evil or you feel that people that are in them deserve some kind of punishment for being here in an undocumented nature you must admit that this is inhumane 100% inhumane. And again, as I've noted, this is rooted in history. Often governments, Canadian governments, American governments, governments all over the world, governments we view as bad guys, but also governments we view as good guys have used these tools to basically control the rights and destinies of women they deemed for whatever reason inferior. And again, this was happening in Canada. This was happening to indigenous women in Canada historically, and indeed, according to Vice, as late as last year, and it might still be ongoing for all we know, women in Canada, indigenous women, were having this done to them as well, that they were having procedures that basically eliminated their fertility without their knowledge or their consent. This story is still developing. We're waiting for more news, but I think one thing this shows is that these facilities are not just detaining people to figure out identities and to, you know, transition people back to their native countries, that these are more than just detaining facilities. They are sites of inhumane barbarity. They need to be closed down and there needs to be justice for these women. They're, these these are, in effect, are, are crimes against humanity. These are, these are, these are awful. And, and we, we have to keep talking about them because... This is what regimes do when they want to destroy 
other cultures. We can't let them get away with it. 